Hello kids, how are you all? Kids, today we are going to start our chapter number 2 which is very interesting that is nouns. So, let's start. Here are some pictures. Circle the naming words that is nouns. Raman is eating an apple. Mala is singing a film song. So, kids, you have to circle nouns. So, let's begin. Noun. A noun is the name of a person, place, thing or animal. A noun also refers to materials. A noun can name an idea, a thought, a quality, a state, etc. Let's see the kinds of nouns. Nouns are mainly of four kinds. Common noun, proper noun, collective noun, abstract nouns. So, let's begin with the common nouns. Nouns that refers to the name common to every member of a class or a kind are called common noun. Here are some examples. Boy, girl, city, river, state, country, etc. So, kids, can you give some name of other common nouns? Good. Now, let's begin. Proper nouns. Nouns that refers to the name of a particular person, places or things are called proper noun. Example are Rohit Sharma, New Delhi, The Times of India, etc. So, kids. I hope you understand. So, let's underline the nouns in the following sentences. Write C under common nouns and P under proper noun. One has been done for you. Let's see first. Sachin Tendulkar is a great sports person. So, Sachin Tendulkar is proper noun and sports person is common noun. So, in the same way, you have to underline proper noun and common noun. Let's move on to collective nouns. Nouns that refers to a group of people, animals or things taken together and spoken as of one are called collective nouns. Here are some examples. A class of students, an army of soldiers, a bunch of keys, a band of musicians, a swarm of bees, a flock of birds and sheep. Other are a tuft of glass. A library of books, a swarm of bees, a chair of singers, a chest of drawers, a troop of artists. Now, circle the correct collective nouns. First, a bouquet of flowers or fruits. So, here collective noun is flowers. So, you will circle flowers. Second, a board of musician directors. So, you will circle directors. So, in the same way, Circle all the correct collective nouns. Now, let's move on to abstract nouns. Nouns that refers to the name of a quality, thought, state or action are called abstract nouns. Abstract nouns are different from all other nouns. We cannot see or touch them. We can only feel them. Let's see the formation of abstract nouns. Abstract nouns from verbs. Obey, obedience, dedicate, dedication. No knowledge. Sympathize, sympathy. Choose, choice. Abstract nouns from adjectives. Lengthy, length. Brave, bravery. Needy, need. Beautiful, beauty. Different, difference. Abstract nouns from common nouns. Brother, brotherhood. Child, childhood. Leader, leadership. Friend, friendship. Neighbor, neighborhood. Next is abstract nouns form when a suffix is added to a word. Suffix, word, abstract noun. A-G-E Marry, marriage. Break, breakage. D-O-M Free, freedom. Martyr, martyrdom. Now suffix E-N-C-E Appear, appearance, distance, distance. Now suffix E N C E depend dependence complete completeness E R Y or R Y ancestor ancestry brave bravery H O O D hood child childhood brother brotherhood I O N admire admiration abolish abolition I S M hero heroes individual individualist I T Y Absurd, absurdity, capture, 
captivity m e n t develop development enjoy enjoyment n e w -S, s ness kind kindness happy happiness so kids in this way understand the abstract noun form when a suffix is added to a word so read them and learn them now kids make abstract nouns from the following adjectives here is adjectives abstract nouns first greedy greediness brave bravery so kids in the same way form abstract nouns from the adjectives now next form abstract nouns from the following verbs verb and the adjective noun believe belief so in the same way you have to form abstract noun from the verbs next is form abstract nouns from the following common nouns here is first man manhood so in the same way do the rest by your own now next is here is a list of abstract nouns their opposites are given in the box write the opposite nouns choosing from the box first success its opposite is failure so kids find the other opposites by yourself next is filling the blanks with the abstract noun form of the words given in the bracket first madam curie's greatest dash was the dash of radium so the sentence will be Madam Curie's greatest achievement was the discovery of radium. So now do the rest filling the blanks by yourself. Now next is countable and uncountable nouns. First is countable nouns. A noun that we can count is called a countable noun. Most nouns are countable nouns. Nouns like book, pen, friend, learner, doctor, class, bunch can be counted. These are called countable nouns. next is uncountable nouns a noun that we cannot count is called an uncountable noun nouns like water sugar rice wind salt are example of uncountable nouns so kids proper nouns like delhi virat kohli india name particular place or persons there is only one of their kind so they are called uncountable nouns abstract nouns like boyhood happiness kindness wisdom are uncountable nouns because they express ideas qualities or feelings material nouns like iron water cotton milk are uncountable nouns in some cases abstract nouns may also have plural form vacancies memories etc cake is an uncountable noun but a piece of cake is a countable noun salt is uncountable noun but but a pinch of salt is a countable noun so kids a countable noun has a plural form but an uncountable noun does not we can say dogs books potatoes buses classes bunches flocks but cannot think of rice sugar oils friendship etc now let's read and compare the following sentences i drink juice every day juice is an uncountable I drank a glass of juice in the morning glass is a countable to make plural from singular countable may be used with words as a an one two few many a few etc we cannot use these words with uncountable nouns we cannot say a water an oil a few happiness etc we use words like little a little much etc with uncountable now kids observe the highlighted nouns and write c for countable and u for uncountable nouns first my father prefers coffee so it is a uncountable noun so you will write u so in the same way identify countable and uncountable nouns by yourself now let's move on pick the correct option first which of the following is a common noun Samsung, Sony, River, LG. So the common noun is C, River. So kids, I hope you understand the nouns. You have to find correct options by yourself. Nouns number. Nouns have two number, singular and plural. A noun which refers to one person, 
place, thing or animal is said to be singular in number. Example, boy, girl, book, cat, tomato, etc. A noun which refers to more than one person, place, thing or animal is said to be plural. Example, boys, girls, books, cats, tomatoes, etc. Now, formation of plural nouns by adding s to singular nouns like pen, pens, girl, girls, book, books, hill, hills. Nouns ending in hissing sound s, sh, double s, ch, sh, x form their plural by adding es to the singular nouns. Let's see the examples bus, buses, dish, dishes, glass, glasses, watch, watches, box, boxes, brush, brushes. Now nouns ending in y and preceded by a consonant form their plural by changing y to ies. Let's see the examples story, stories, cry, cries, baby, babies, fairy, fairies. But here are some exceptions. Noun ending in y and is preceded by an vowel form their plural by adding only s to their singular nouns. Like boy, boys, day, days. Toy, toys, joy, joys. Now, nouns ending in F form their plural by changing F to VES. Leaf, leaves. Calf, calves. Life, lives. Wife, wife. Here are some exceptional. Some nouns ending in F take only S to form their plural. Chief, chiefs. Roof, roofs. Girls, girls. Proof, proofs. Nouns ending in O having a consonant before O generally form their plural by adding ES to the singular. Potato, potatoes, tomato, tomatoes, hero, heroes, veto, vetoes. Some nouns are changed into plural by changing inside vowels. Tooth, teeth, foot, feet, man, men, woman, men, goose, geese, mouse, mice. Some nouns are changed into plurals by adding en or ren to their singular nouns. Child, children, ox, oxen. Some nouns are same in singular as well as plural. Fish, fish, deer, deer, sheep, sheep, cattle, cattle. So these words remain same. Compound nouns form their plurals in several ways. Father-in-law, father-in-law, son-in-law, sons-in-law. Mother-in-law, mothers-in-law, daughter-in-law, daughters-in-law, stepfather, stepfathers, stepmother, stepmothers, stepson, stepsons, stepdaughter, stepdaughters. Some nouns are always in the plural form. Name of instruments or objects which have two parts forming a kind of pair are used in the plural. Here are some examples. Trousers. There is a pair of trousers in the Almeida. Spectacles. This pair of spectacles belongs to my father. Scissors. These scissors are sharp. This pair of scissors is sharp. Name of some certain games, disease, sciences or branches of knowledge which end in S are also singular. Let's see the examples. Mathematics is a tough subject. Politics is full of hypocrisy. Some nouns are always in singular. News. This news is not true. Furniture. The furniture of her house is quite new. Innings. Vidat played a good innings. Summon. He has received a summons from MCD. Now kids, circle the correct word given in the bracket. The furniture in his room is new. So in the same way, you have to identify the correct words among the brackets. Now next is nouns of gender. A word that identifies a male, female, common or non-living thing is called gender. Kinds of gender. Nouns have four genders. Masculine gender, feminine gender, common gender, neuter gender. So kids, let's begin with masculine gender. Nouns that refers to male belongs to the masculine gender. Example, boy, father, man, king, lion, etc. Now next is feminine gender. Nouns that refers to females belongs to feminine gender. Examples is girl, mother, woman, queen, lioness, etc. Common gender. Nouns that refers to male or female belongs to common gender. Example, doctor, friend, teacher, cousin, etc. 
Next is neuter gender. Nouns that refers neither to male nor to female belong to the neuter gender. Example is book, pen, stone, chair, table, etc. Now next is formation of feminine gender. Feminine gender can be formed from the masculine gender in the following way. By using an entirely different word. Talion, mare, man, woman, father, mother, son, daughter, boy, girl, husband, wife, brother, sister, horse, mare. By adding E double S to the masculine gender. Lion, lioness, priest, priestess, author, authoress, count, countess. Now, by adding E double S for dropping the vowel of the masculine ending. Actor, Actress, Tiger, Tigress, Duke, Duchess, Emperor, Empress. By placing a word before or after the masculine gender. Peacock, Peahen, Washerman, Washerwoman, Grandfather, Grandmother, Landlord, Landlady. Here is a list of nouns. Classify them into their respective category. So kids, you can classify them as Actor in masculine, Tigress in feminine, and friend in common noun. So kids, that's all for the today's class. We will meet next time. Bye-bye.